This is Mark Ryan. And today I'm back in Vertex AI, which is Google Cloud's premier environment for working with artificial intelligence and machine learning. And what I'd like to do using Vertex AI is I would like to take an article that I published in January on how to tune a foundation model in Vertex AI. And this article goes through in text and talks about the steps that you need to go through to tune a model in Vertex AI. And I'd like to compare it to a video that I recorded about the same topic and see are there similarities and differences between these two formats. So the problem that I want to solve is a multimodal problem because I want to compare video with text. So I'm going to go into Vertex AI Studio and click on multimodal. I'm going to go into prompt design. And here, what I'd like to do is upload the a video that I recorded and then have a prompt to compare that video with the article, with the text. So I'm going to start with a preamble to the prompt, describe the differences and similarities between this video. So I'm going to go over to my local file system and select the video. And I get a message that says, I can't add this media because the file is too large. There's a limit of seven meg. So I'm stuck, right? I'm not able to actually do a comparison in Vertex AI between the video and the article. That was the case up until just this last week. Now I can go up here to the model selection and select Gemini Experimental. And Gemini Experimental is in fact Gemini 1.5, which means I have a much larger context window. With Gemini 1.5 in the Insert Media menu, I now able to import from Google Cloud Storage. So I have uploaded the video to Cloud Storage. I'm going to go there, select the file, and it lets me upload it. Now I'm going to insert the text from the article. And I'm going to click on Submit. I get a message saying that I'm processing a large file, so it could take as long as 90 seconds. So we'll give it some time to come back. OK. Gemini 1.5 came back, and I get the result down here with similarities and differences between the video and the article, which is exactly what I wanted to. And now, thanks to the availability of Gemini 1.5 in Vertex AI, I'm able to use Vertex AI to do a comparison between a relatively long video and an article to look for similarities and differences between the two media. And that's a quick summary of how you can take advantage of Gemini 1.5 within Vertex AI Studio. It's available now. Check it out. And thanks for watching.